Hello there, welcome back. It's a quick video on how I deal with expanding foam. Now this is cured foam, hence the PU foam remover. So this is just for cured foam. Really you would never want this to happen. So we'll deal with this first. So the foam remover is a cream, as you can see, comes with a brush and a small spatula scraper and generally just going to liberally apply this. Now you would remove as much of this as possible. The um, plastic can scratch so just be very careful I'm just going to apply this straight to the small amount of foam that's there generally you just wouldn't let this happen I'll go into that in a bit do is I'm just going to cover this cover that and also on this board painted board I've got some foam now with a surface like this the foam really will bond to it and it will be difficult to remove it something that you do not want to happen and then when it's dry you would have to sand and paint because this stuff will react with the paint so I'll do the same leave that and again I'll cover it just keeps the fumes in there a bit and stops it evaporating too much and again good ventilation so leave that lot it's started raining now so I've left this for more than 30 minutes so take the spatula, see what it's like. Yeah, so it's softened this up. That's going to come off quite easy. Okay, so that's with um, a nice solid smooth surface. Yeah, that's just a bit of the cream that's left. So that will just wash off now with warm soapy water and I say warm, lukewarm you don't want it too hot very soapy and that's how I clean the brush now then just move this lot out of the way I'll bring this as a painted board in that was another bit of a experiment You'll probably try and put a link into the description about what all that is about in the description I should say. So this is the painted surface of water based paint and straight away I can see it's coming off. 
so I can see the, the board behind so it's literally acted like a paint stripper unless it's bringing the foam off Okay. You can see how how it's took the paint off there. So not good on painted surfaces. When you read on the label it will say structured surfaces. Not good. Not good at all. Okay. So now I'll show you the easiest way to get round removing the foam from most surfaces. Okay, so that's really good when you come across cured foam on UPVC. But for a lot of other materials it's not, not good at all. Um, you won't be able to use it. Aluminium, yes. But copper, brass, other things like that, yeah, not good. So, got my foam, this is already shook up, and I'll put spot down onto this painted surface. Now we know it's took the paint off here, so I'll make sure I get a good contact. smear that on a little bit okay now again you wouldn't really allow this to happen for obvious reasons so now for a bit of magic I don't let it dry as quick as you can okay I'll leave that to dry and then we'll take a look at that what I used there was just a bit of white spirit always have it at hand and it's removed the wet foam without removing the paint so leaving it to dry can create your problems coming across it when it's dry you'll have to sand it and paint it on plastic UPVC it will come off it won't be a problem but remember if you do get it on then you're gonna to have to wait for it to activate so a bit of white spirit on a cloth whenever you're using the foam will prevent something like this and then beyond that what we want to be doing is masking up so just a bit of tape and newspaper help saves a lot of work working outside and um, what I tend to use is duct tape sticks to brick really well as long as it's clean and dry um, again using the masking tape as long as the surface is clean and dry you have a better bond so touch of white spirit kept with you and again will help prevent something like that especially on paintwork so we'll leave a link to this in the description like I say so until next time hope this helps